love me, love me. No! Say that you love me. Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Let's tune in to Multicasking. Yes. And we're going to have ourselves a Highland. Highland. A uh, Highland 12 year old Highland. Armenian whiskey. Armenian whiskey. This is our first. Go into Armenian, Gene. Oh. What do we know about this Armenian whiskey, Gene? Um, it's a hundred percent wheat. Hundred percent wheat. Malted wheat. I malted think. wheated. I think this is our first hundred percent malted wheat whiskey. Um, we've had several wheat whiskeys. Supposed small, to read the box, not the bottle. Small batch, single bottle. I like the 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 wood topper here. The screw on makes me think it needs to be sanded a little bit. Oh. Oh, oh, oh boy! I like that your sudden scared reaction was uh, a throwback to um, oh, what's the one with Scott back there where he travels in time. He goes, oh boy, that's his call sign. Uh, Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Highland whiskey aged for a minimum of 12 years in Armenian oak cast and brandy barrel finish. The oak, wood, and grains used to craft the spirit are both naturally sourced from the fertile soils of the Caucasus Mountains, resulting in a whiskey that has a smooth and balanced taste, complex aromas. The cask also delivers a rich note of vanilla spice, apricot, and toasted wood. And it's got some interesting artwork on there, but yeah. Hmm. Boom, what's ABV, you ask? That's a good question. It is a 43% ABV, it's an 86 proof. Uh, so it's a 100% weeded whiskey, uh, 12 years old, finished in brandy barrels. That's interesting because um, I didn't, wasn't getting any brandy on the nose till you said brandy, and now that's all I get. Um, Good thing I didn't say like Connie or Gene. Get a little Gene on the nose. Yeah. Well, that's the nose you're going to want to keep. <laughs> there is a unique wood on there. This is. Ritz butter crackers. No, this reminds me. Fresh Ritz butter crackers with brandy jam. I'll give you the fresh Ritz butter crackers. I can see how you get that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, first, first note was is like walking into like a hardware store and they just saw a piece of oak, and you get that fresh wood. Hmm. A little bit of lemon in so there. Some sawdust. Sawdust. I'm salivating now. Fresh sawdust. When you, when you think sawdust, you think salivation. Yes, yes, you do. You deadpanning me, Gene. Um, <laughs> I'm not. That's get what I'm not getting for okay. you, for this to be 100% wheat. Malted wheat, yes. Malted wheat. Now I don't know what the difference between the wheats and the malted wheats besides the name malted if, in front of it. If memory serves, and correct us down in the comments, which I'm wrong. I normally am. I think it's where they. they they let it like get a little bit wet or something, then it, I want to say the word sprouts, it sprouts something real quick. Oh, okay. Computer, what is malted wheat? Computer, what is malted wheat? Computer says, go screw yourself, Charlie, that I'm not talking. <laughs> See? Hmm, I don't know that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going in. Have a good one. So I'm getting a hint of like a, a old apple cider that you left out for half a day. I'm getting actually some vanilla notes. It's kind of muted nose. It's not as sweet as I would think. Your, your face makes me think things. Oh, what does it make you think? That's not good. No, it's, I, it's pleasant. Um, I get a lot of those. I get like um, light fruits, like the pear and the and innards of an, uh, of an apple. Um, huh. I am not getting what I consider to be those wheat flavors. I would not guess this to be, have high wheat, nonetheless, 100% wheat. I would not guess that at all. It's not as sweet as a normal wheater is. Um, I'm getting a lot of vanilla. Vanilla? A ton of vanilla. I'm getting a, a twinge of like a ginger. Ginger? Coated tangerine. Uh, slight, slight. Citrus notes. It's a it's a muted palette. I got I got that vanilla y uh, like a vanilla. If they were to flavor sprite vanilla, like that's what I would get. Cause it's got like that tingly like it's not carbonation, but it's like a it's a pop rocky tingle. I got a little tingle on my tongue. Yeah, you're welcome. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's got good pepper notes. A little bit of water there to see if that does here. A little bit of pepper notes. Um, yeah, it's it's muted it's for 43. It's not a tingle like a pepper though. It's a tingle like a carbonation type. I don't know how to yeah, describe it. Yeah, Pop Rocks, I think you think. Pop Rocks. Yeah, it's a great note. It's a Pop Rocks. Yeah, but a vanilla Sprite, I'm missing some of the lime notes. I get I get like a lemon zest. Uh, it's got a muted nose. I, I, the 43 is not helping this whiskey. I get like an orange uh, finish though. It's like a, like an orange crush. Ooh. Have you ever had one of them? Love orange crush. That's what uh, my finish is. I'm going to go to the store later and get me an orange crush today. You probably won't. Mm -hmm. yeah, you probably don't. will. I don't know. I love orange crush. Maybe. That's, that's the one pop that is missing from... All the pop machines. Huh. Yeah, used to have it in pop machines. Water do anything on your nostrils? <sighs> it's not, I don't know how long this was in the brandy, because I'm getting a, a hint of a of a wine cast or something, but only a hint. Yeah, it couldn't have been in there for very long, mm. I don't think, because it should have been, I would have thought it had been more predominant. I mean, I still get some of the brandy on the nose, but it's not a lot. Water thickens it up. It's almost where I can chew it now. Didn't bring out a ton of notes for me. Um, I think this is lacking in flavor, unfortunately. But then again, I am ignorant, as I think you are also ignorant to Armenian whiskeys. Maybe this is an excellent representation of Armenian whiskey. Maybe, but it does taste a little watered down. Because we just added water. Oh yeah. Well, um, since you put it like that. <laughs> uh, thanks for your subscription to the channel. Thumbs up if you like us, thumbs down if you don't like me. Um, 82. I did an 84. Okay. I this... did an 84 because it's it's not horrible, but it is kind of like oh, no. drinking uh, flavored water. Um, yeah, I think flavored water is actually a good representation. If you are someone who uh, wants to show someone a world whiskey and they don't really like, hey, don't give them anything too, too rough, too high, um, I think this would be a good intro for that. Do you know how much we paid for it? I'm hoping you say 25, but I'm guessing, I think, I don't know. I'm, I have no idea. What is it? 40. Mm. It's a little high, I think. It's high because of the lack of flavor. Yeah. Um, but the 12 year old Armenian, maybe that's worth it there. I don't know. Mm. Uh, for actually, if you give it to this blind, tell me nothing else about it, I'm saying 25. I mean, it would be a great intro whiskey. Like if yeah. you are sitting around and, and you're sipping on your favorite whiskey and you got a friend come over and be like, yeah, I can't drink whiskey straight. Just can't do it. Well, you could, you know, pour a little bit of this and say, here you go. You want a straw? So this, this last sip I just took reminded me of a vanilla bomb if it were a compass box. I got compass box notes there real quick. Hmm. So, um, anything else to add, Jean? Nothing else to add. I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. <laughs>